I... Welcome to Canada. You know, whatever they say about her, whatever they say about her, she's a little treasure, you know. She really is a little... You know, she's still working on yesterday's numbers game. Have you got it yet, Carol? No, it's still impossible, Christian. <laughs> it was impossible yesterday and it's still impossible now. Thank you. I think, don't think she can do it, but you just keep trying, okay. It was only 800, oh, 831, wasn't it, Carol? You know, you're worse than my mother, you are, with my <laughs> homework when I was small. All right, well, she'll keep trying uh, in between her normal duties, which involve uh, a great deal of work, of course, but not as much work as uh, our two supremos today. Welcome, Lawrence Pierce and Jackie McLeod. Uh, you can see all these faces uh, back again, isn't it? Lawrence Pierce, Cheltenham, 47 years of age these days. He's a civil servant, married with two children. He appeared on Countdown way back in 1989. That's how he looked then. Not all that different, really. Uh, he won 11 straight games, 11 to become champion of Series 17. He then came back in 1991 when he lost out in the semi-final of our fifth championship of champions. And he lost to, guess who, the one and only Gino Kaur. We saw Gino yesterday who sadly has departed but uh, we remember Gino still. Now Lawrence has a record of 12 wins out of 13 so a mar marvellous fantastic track record. Welcome back to you Lawrence Pierce. <laughs> yeah. And here's Jackie. Jackie McLeod, she's from Highgate in North London. She's 53 now and she has three children and she works as an administrator. She appeared on Countdown way back in Series 21 in 1991. Now she reached the final but she lost out to Barry Grossman. Of course you saw Barry earlier in the week. Now Jackie then came back in 1993 when she was defeated in the quarterfinal of the sixth championship of champions. So her record is five wins out of eight. So good luck and welcome back to you. Jackie McLeod. <laughs> OK, well, uh, last time our guardian of the dictionary scored with a winning seven-letter word, petasus, P-E-T-A-S-U-S, petasus, which is an ancient Grecian hat. Well, frankly, it was all Greek to me, but he is back brimming with confidence promising he'll do even beta today. So welcome, Jeffrey Durham with, of course, Susie Dent. It's turning into quite a week, isn't it? It's standard's the, so high. It's the, standard, the standard is uh, incredibly high, and uh, we find, as we would expect, all our contestants are evenly matched. The one gets a seven, the other gets a seven, one gets an eight, the other gets an eight. It's terrifically good, very good indeed. So, Lawrence, uh, welcome back, as we say to you, sir. Thank you. And so off you go. Uh, consonant, please, Carol. Thank you very much. We start then with B. And another consonant. N. A vowel. A. And a consonant. C. Another vowel. O. And a consonant. T. A consonant. G. Another vowel. E. And we'll end with a consonant, please. And a consonant. Thank you, Lawrence. And S. Thanks very much indeed. The first uh, countdown selection. So let's start the countdown clock. Seven, says Lawrence. Jackie. Try eight. Ah, right. So the seven Lawrence is? Beacons. Beacons, yes, beacons. Now an eight. Cognates, C-O-G-N-A-T-E-S. Cognates for eight and broad grins from Dictionary mm -hmm. Corner. Yes, absolutely. that's absolutely fine. A cognate of, of something, for example, a word is a relative of, uh, of that word. It's derived from the same ancestor and it's fine. Good, very well nice done. indeed. Well done. Okay, Jackie, in your own right now, it's your turn. Um, consonant, please, Carol. Thank you. R. And another one. 
F. And another one. R. Oh, dear. One more consonant. <laughs> you don't like ours. OK, C. And a vowel. I. And another vowel. U. And another vowel, please. O. Consonant. L. Um, and a vowel. Vowel. OK, thank you, kid. And O. Thank you. So, that's so. That's it. Here we go. Time, please, Jackie. Six. You say six now, Lawrence. Six also. Six also. Lawrence is six. Colour. Colour, yeah, Jackie. A frolic. Right, mm -hmm. colour and a floric. Uh, floric. <laughs> <laughs> a floric. <laughs> Jeffrey? Wonderful word for seven is couloir. That's right, not as in, in the French corridor, but um, a steep, narrow gully on a mountainside, which comes from the French to glide. The couloir. Couloir. Okay. Good. So Lawrence is off the mark now with his six. So six and a fourteen. Lawrence, let us please. Consonant, please, Carol. R. And another consonant. T. A vowel. A. A consonant. G. Another vowel. Another vowel. E. And a consonant. S. Another consonant. H. A vowel. O. And we'll end with a consonant. <laughs> uh, S. <laughs> OK, there we go. Same for all. So let's go. Lawrence, Jackie. And eight. OK. Um, Jackie's eight. Hostages. Yes, hostages. Very good. Hostages. And yours, Lawrence? Is also hostages. Hostages. All right. We'll look at hostages because that's a nice uh, long one. But, uh, Jeffrey, you're smiling more than usual. Like well, cock a hoop. Shortages for nine. Shortages for nine. Yes. Yeah. There it is. A nine letter word. Shortages. Well done. <laughs> yeah. It's sort of, um, I mean, I, I just wonder, it's, it sort of beckoned, didn't it, really? It was almost like a conundrum, really, their shortages. Obviously, you didn't see it, but it, it, um, the selection did seem to suggest close. it, didn't it? Mm. Perhaps. Well, never mind. Uh, eight, eight apiece it was, so that's fine, but... Uh, Shortages, or hostages offered here. Well, uh, good, uh, good letters, <laughs> games now. 14 and 22. Jackie, numbers, please. Um, one from the top, please, Carol. And all the rest for your choice. Oh, thank you so much, Jackie. <laughs> all right, then, five smaller numbers. Okie dokie. We have eight and three, five and three, nine and 50. And the target is, oh, I don't believe it, 101. Yep, 101, almost as low as you can go. But let's go for it right now. So there we are. 101. 101? 
Jackie? Yes, 101. Lawrence? Yes, 101. So, Jackie, how did you get 101? 5 minus 3 is 2. 5 minus 3 is 2. Times, times 50. Yes. Makes 100. <laughs> is the 100. 9 minus 8 is 1. Yep. What did you do then? Oh, yeah, I did something. Okay. <laughs> 101. Okay. Uh, Lawrence? 350 is 150. Oh, completely different. Oh, you've put thought and effort into this one. It's 150. 8 fives are 40. 8 times 5. Oh, I see. Right. Plus the 9. Yeah. And again, and take, take them away. that's all off. Yeah, 101. Yeah, well done, you see. We're gonna, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to get you on to work out yesterday's numbers games. <laughs> Richard, <laughs> yes? it's impossible. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yes, anything you say, Carol, it's impossible. Anyway, this wasn't. This was 101, not Dalmatians, but 101 uh, to get, and 10 points got by all. So, scores 24 and 32 at the end of part one. So, well done to you, and now here's Geoffrey. I thought today I'd show you a little conjuring trick. In fact, I like this trick so much, I think I'm actually going to watch it myself. It's an anagram trick. There's the anagram. It says, theatre manager had crown. There's nothing on the other side. And the idea of the trick is that I spin it in the air, you see. I mean, this is real magic. It must be magic, because it certainly isn't skill. I spin it in the air, and it comes down with the right answer. And for those of you who are thinking, oh, no, he's doing another wretched anagram, well, actually, you're right, because the answer is another wretched anagram. <laughs> With catching skills like that, you should be playing for Yorkshire. <laughs> And you can now, you know. You don't have to be born in Yorkshire to play for Yorkshire. Oh, I'm delighted. No. The fact that I've never picked up a bat in, in anger. I was so bad at cricket, they made me an umpire. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell Dickie Bird that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, very good. 24-32, that's the score. See you in part two. Thank you so much. to Barclay card and see how many pounds they could whip off your balance. 150! Whoa! Call now 0800 49 29 29. In their own words, they don't talk to you. <laughs> Torval and Dean reveal the highs. Right across the ball. Every one of them has sick. And lows of a cutting edge partnership. From the beginning to Bolero and beyond. Torval and Dean, the story so far. Available to own on video now. Face it, nobody else is going to indulge you. So indulge yourself with options. Oi, Churchill, could you save me money on car insurance? Oh, yes. Just by calling 0800 200 300? Yes. OK, can I pay monthly? Yes. Get an instant quote? Yes. Instant cover? Of course. Ah, I suppose I've got loads of forms to fill in. Oh, no, 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 no. And I could still save on my car insurance? Oh, yes. Ring Churchill now on 0800 200 300. Give the dog a phone on 0800 200 300 and see how much you could save. New Kleenex for family tissues. Because they're softer and thicker, we've had to make the box bigger. Try Ominos for the not so square. Tom, we really should start our Christmas shopping today. I'm not traipsing around the shops. Nobody's asking you to. Whoa. Action man. We're going in, lads. <gasps> what? Sky electrics! <laughs> uh, Star Wars! <gasps> Skywalker! <laughs> well, that's you sorted out. Now, what about the kids? Batman toys? Well, they get a bit old for that. For a catalogue of answers this Christmas, Argos takes care of it. This place is such a mess. Time to go. Yes. 
See you tonight, dear. Yes. Okay, yes, back uh, with Countdown again, and a uh, good game in progress here. Lawrence Pierce on 24, and Jackie McLeod there on 32. So we've had a good first half with the nice words and the good numbers game. So now let's crack on with round five, and you, Jackie. A vowel, please, Carol. Thank you. A. And a consonant. H. And another consonant. M. And a vowel, please. U. And another consonant. Another consonant. R. And another one. N. And a vowel, please. E. And another vowel. E. And finish with a consonant. And J. That's it. There is no more. Time to go. Jackie? Uh, seven. A seven for Jackie, Lawrence? Oh, Only four. Oh, right. <laughs> hey, Lawrence. <laughs> I'm afraid. Yes. Right. Well, we're ready. Come on, let's hear it. Spit it out. Harm. Harm, yes. yes. Well, okay, harm is a four. Now, a seven. Humana? Mm. Well, I've just well. been deliberating over that one, actually, because I think more frequently you would say more humane. Um, he certainly wouldn't say humanist, so I think I'm going to have to disallow humana. But that means that Lawrence then, of course, with his four-letter word, gets the prizes and gets the points. Points mean prizes, as you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, um, what, I forgot, it was harm you've got, didn't you? Harm gets four. Now then, Geoffrey. Well, we got humane. We toyed with humana and decided no. And uh, we got manure. But um, the less said about that, the better. <laughs> certainly is. Right, so scores then move on to 28 and 32. So nothing in it, of course. Lawrence, letters from you, please. The consonant, please, Carol. M. And another consonant. S. A vowel. A. And a consonant. V. And another vowel. Another vowel. O. Another consonant. D. Another consonant. M. A vowel. I. Oh, dear. Uh, and another consonant, please. You don't like this, do you? No, I don't. <laughs> and uh, T. Ah, I can see an awful... Oh, I can't bear to look. I can't... Ooh, can you all see it? can't bear to look. Ooh. Yes, please. Um, what do you say, Lawrence? How many? Seven. So you say seven. Jackie? Only six. Six. The six, please. Avoids. Avoids. Now, what's the seven? Atomism. A T O M I S M. Yeah, took us by surprise. Yeah. I'm telling you. <laughs> Atom atomism. 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 I think Is it's going to be all right. It's worth checking that. Yes, brilliant. it's absolutely fine. Well done. Good, excellent. At yeah. Atomism. Yeah. 
Right. Well, no one saw the horrid word that I saw, did they? Yes, that's why I said avoids, to avoid <laughs> saying. <laughs> <laughs> there were a couple of others. Uh, there was mastoid, and there's this wonderful one, um, which I'm going to let... <laughs> I'm going to let Susie tell you the meaning of diatoms. I thought you might. Um, this is, again, it's probably a, a, phys, a, a term from physics or from, from botany. It's, um, well, you can read it there. It's found on plankton and forms fossil deposits. And you could pluralise that. So, anyway, it's greeted with hushed silence in the studio. <laughs> None of us have heard of that, but we have now, as they say. OK, well, scores... Uh, Change a little bit. 35 and 32 now. And Jackie, letters from you, please. Um, I'll start with a consonant, please, Carol. Thank you, Jackie. F. And another one. Y. And another consonant. S. And another one. Z. Give up on those. Have a vowel. <laughs> <laughs> they, oh, oh yeah. That's and another nice. vowel, please. Another vowel. Yes. You want a third box, really, don't you? <laughs> uh, A. And another vowel. I. The consonant. P. And the consonant. And the consonant. And T. Thank you. The last letters game starts now. Jackie? Only five. Uh, five now for you, Lawrence. <laughs> Only four. Only four. Well, you did well on four last time. <laughs> Manor, history Manor repeated itself. What's the four? Oh, Fitz. Who? Fitz. 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 Now five. Pasty. Spell? P-A-S-T-Y. Mm. Pasty. Right. Pasty, pasty. pasty. It's all the same, same, same word, and it's yeah. the best we could do as well. OK, pasty five. and pasty is there for five, so that's it. So we'll leave it at that. Almost patsy there, but uh, not that patsy. Um, 37 and 35 numbers from you, Lawrence, please. I think it'd better be six from the third row, Carol. Yes. Oh, <laughs> you used the word better in that sentence. <laughs> Not so sure about that. Let's see what we've got. Right, we have seven, oh dear, and one, six, and another seven, ten, oh, and another one. I don't look what this target's going to be. It's low. Oh, not too bad. One, six, two. OK, go for it. One, six, two. Here we go. Yes, well, 162, Lawrence. Yes, 162. OK, good. Jackie? I've lost my weight. So, Lawrence, tell us all how you got 162. 1 plus 1 is 2. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Times 10 is 20. Times 10 is 20. Plus 1 of the 7s is 27. Yeah. I think 27 times 6 is 162. Oh, heck. Uh, yes, you're absolutely right, 162. Yeah. Well done. 10 points. <laughs> OK, well, we must move quickly on because the time is against us, 45 and 37. Um, yeah, so, listen, you can still win, uh, Jackie, uh, with 10 points for this conundrum. So, it's anyone's game still. So, please now reveal today's crucial countdown conundrum. Yes, Jackie, two seconds. Seniority. You may well be right. Well, first, great. What? Would you believe that? Would you believe that? I bet you thought it was all over for you. Then yes, there it was. Did. Absolutely, you saw the electricity there. Forty-seven to forty-five, and a place uh, in the semi-finals of this group to Jackie McLeod. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, Florence, words of mine aren't enough just to say a good <laughs> game. I'm glad you're smiling. Oh, it's only a game, isn't it? It. No, no, it's very serious. Actually. It's, it's a serious, serious, it's it's a way serious of life game, for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, very good, Lawrence. Uh, terrific. Okay, thanks very much indeed. My Our pleasure. Token for you is this uh, mantelpiece uh, objet d'art, which I hope you look at for many years to come, as well as for watching Countdown for many years. To I'll come. put it above the dictionaries. Ah, yes, indeed. Former champion, of course. Good, Lawrence Pierce. All the very best. Thanks for coming back. See you soon. <laughs> OK, uh, these two are on next, uh, these two Supremes. Clive Spate there, that's Clive. Uh, we'll see him tomorrow and uh, young David Reed, slightly older than he was ten years ago, as we all are indeed. But that's uh, Clive Spate and David Reed tomorrow. But for now, uh, Geoffrey, Susie and Carol, yeah. before you go to bed tonight, will you just think of one thing for me, please? Depends. What? Think eight, three, one. <laughs> it's impossible. Well, we'll see. Thank you so much. We'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.